Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I'd asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Hey guys, so uh, here we go, The Binding of Isaac. Um, I'm just going to do sort of maybe a 20, 30 minute sort of play of me doing this because it's addictive and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I won't bore you with my constant failures, but I did want to show you guys this game. So, um, so I think it's amazing. Um, so, Container Hearts in one playthrough. Get the lucky foot. Judas. Unlocked by unknownness. And making two deals with the devil in one playthrough. But at the moment I haven't unlocked anything, anyone else, only Isaac. So, uh, here we go. Now this game's a little messed up. Not gonna lie, you run around using ASW and ASDW. Uh, shoot by using the... some shoot tears at things. Um, space to use a special item or shift or E to use bombs. I've only got one bomb and I'm not going to waste it. Um, and you basically just have to like go around not getting oneself killed. I'm not very good at the not getting myself killed part, just thought I'd let you know this. Okay, this is the boss room. I'm not going to go in there yet. Uh, this is uh, the shop in there, but I currently have now a penny um, and no keys, so I can't get in yet. So go across the other way. Don't want to go into the boss room yet because I'm not very um ah. Ooh a key. Keep a hold of that though. Doopy doopy doo. can destroy poop. Ah. 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 
And see, uh. I'm not, I told you I'm not very good at this game. Dear diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement. I leave all that I own to my cat Guppy. I didn't gather anything. And goodbye, cruel <laughs> world, Isaac. I'm not. I can normally get to the third stage. I'm apparently being really, really special today. Um, everything is randomly generated, so no two maps are the same, including the items that you can get a hold of. Um, they're all different um, each time you play as well. Okay, and a key. Now, these rooms here, the sh with the gold, normally holds a special item. I have never seen this item before. What have we got? The sad onion. I am now just going to go load up um, Google or Chrome. Go to the Binding of Isaac wiki, which I do have as a um, hot, as a uh, bookmark. And we're going to go down, and I am sobbing tears. I think this gives me double, double tears, double shots. So, uh, the sad onion, double firing rate. This is independent of the tears stats. So, extra crying. So we'll go down. Heart, which I don't currently need. <laughs> Another key. Awesome. See, now we can do with a heart. Uh, now, I'm hoping, now, if you look, I uh, hope you can see my mouse, there's three rooms adjacent to this square, which means that there might be a secret room there, and you can get to it by blowing the wall up. Ah, and this gives me monies! Oh, monies. So, extra heartless, destroy all the poop. Yes, that really is poop. I like how it makes a smiley face when you destroy it. Let's go into the shop. Uh, ooh, ten bombs for seven pennies, or I can get a tarot card. I don't know what a tarot card is though. Bombs are always useful. So uh, we will take the bombs. I like how I now have a fuse in my head. Right, so who are we up against? We are up against Gemini. Okay. <laughs> basically run around in circles with these guys. Uh, Gemini kind of, they both take somewhat direct approaches. Ah, damn it. I was hoping to do this battle without taking any damage. If you do that, you unlock the um, Lord of the Pit, um, where you can then make a deal with the devil to... Um, there we go. Make a deal with the devil to... Uh, ah, I've got a soul heart. Deal with the devil where you sacrifice your heart points for, like, uber strong items. Oh god, the wire hanger. <sighs> yeah, I now have a wire hanger through my head. I'm not going to just say what that's indicative of. I'm sure you can guess, and if you don't, I advise you not to Google it. Ah, oh, poor Isaac being smacked in the face with a ball and being laughed at. I should do stupid things. Ooh, tarot card. Wheel of Fortune. Now I keep double checking the wiki so that I can tell you guys about what everything is. Spawns a slot machine. Not really needing of a slot machine right now. Um. Ow. Penny! 
Ah, oh, now these run away from you. Um, those ones don't. Well, these ones run away from you and we'll either drop troll bombs or make flies appear. Yeah, another bomb. So basically the whole idea is you just kind of go through randomly generated dungeons, um, not get killed. Oh, how unfair is that? Four of these fuckers in one room. <laughs> Need that heart. Ah, oh, I should have gone into another room and show you what he does. Um, if he's got half a heart, every time he goes into a new room, he pees himself. I should use the... Come on, give me some hearts. There we go, that's what I wanted. Woo! More bombs. A pill we've got here. Full health, nice. Um and now we're just gonna blow you up. I get more bomb and a soul heart. Woohoo! Free stuff. Never go wrong with free stuff, just saying. Okay, so. <laughs> ah, it's not like I don't have enough uh, bombs. Boot, tin stuff, and us go in the shop. I'm mapping some more bombs. You disappoint me, shop. Okay. So, so this game's a tad bit twisted. Um, Don't stop me loving it any less. Ooh, troll bomb. Wish I'd saved my key for this room, really. There's going to be an epic item in there. Um, I have no keys. Rolls. What do you do? Doopy doo. Dead Sea Scrolls uses a random activated item or gives you random collectible item. Replicates the effect of another activated item. If the item mimicked has no recharge time, like Kamikaze, for example, the scrolls can be used again immediately with no recharge period. This also there is also a small glitch where it sometimes may not actually use the item. Awesome! Right, it's time to face the boss. Who are we against? Larry Jr. Right, this one dealt with. Oh, 
it's supposed to turn up if you don't take any damage. Dessert. I think dessert increases your attack power. Or your range. Uh, dessert. No, it increases your HP by one. Awesome. Okay, click back on the game. That helps. Now, this is where I normally fail and die. Just so you know, I can never get past the first caves. I haven't yet, and I don't know if I will, and I have no hope. So, um, we'll see. And the troll bomb. Everyone loves a troll bomb. Oh, I fucking hate those things. Get rid of the flies. And... This is guy's kind of like the slot machine, but he doesn't always drop stuff. Rotten meat. Oh, good lord. So, as you can probably see by now, I increase his HP again. Awesome. Um, you can probably see by now just sort of how messed up this game really is. But, can't help but love it. It's a game that I so have come to love. It's kind of addictive, I find. Ah, oh, these things are fucking annoying. I'm probably be glad that I don't, can't run out of ammo. Okay, I currently have no keys, but what I can see is that there is three ways around here, so there may be a secret room there. No. Means there should might be one somewhere else. Oh my god, I have never seen these before. I don't know quite what they are. To me they look like the um like giant versions of the Red bugs. Okay, there's another chance that the secret passage is secret room is there. Yep, there we go. Got here more, a few more pennies. Not that I have any keys to um access anything. Whew. Keep breathing, Gemma. Keep breathing. It's probably the best. Oh no! This is a mini boss, one of the seven deadly sins. Uh, he will basically just charge at you consistently. So, what about here? The virus. Oh god, look at me. Uh, the virus. Da, 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 da. Um. Well, there we go. Gives the player ability to deal damage to and poison enemies they touch. The player will still take damage from touching em enemies, but remember that not every enemy can hurt you by touch. Awesome, so now if I get touched I am, like, icky face. Nice. <laughs> God, look at poor Isaac. He's like, Malformed and ah. Ooh, bomb. It's already a bomb I want though, it's a key that I want. Oh. Fuck, we've got ones that fly. Oh crap, they all fly. And they shoot shit at me. I hate you. I can't get across that. Ooh, 
key I can access. Yoink. Can't get to that key because I can't float over. There's certain items that allow you to float over voids and stuff. Um, I currently don't have that, but um, like uh, if you face one of the uh, the headless horsemen, you can take his horse, which lets you. Um... Oh, I found the lucky foot! Yay! Don't know what this does. No fun. I only knew that it had been unlocked, I'd never found it. Raises luck to currently unspecified effects. While wearing the lucky foot, uh, you will not pick up pills with negative effects. It also increases chance of winning the skull challenge in the arcade room, unlocked by collecting 55 pennies in one playthrough. King starts the game with this item. God, look at him. Poor soul. Okay, let's continue down. Is a key I can't get to? Damn you. Oh, I fucking hate these things. Uh, that's pretty much why I hate them. Half health. Well, this is the furthest I've ever gotten in the caves versus Chub. Ah, oh, he's surrounded by those icky. by those things. Oh, fuck me. The last fucking thing I need. I oh, shits them out. Are you kidding me? Oh god, heart right now would be a good thing. Ah, oh, damn it, and I died. So as I said, I've never quite got past the caves. That's the f I've actually made it to the boss of the caves, which is a first for me. Um, but there you go, I was killed by this thing in some cave. I leave all that I own to my cat Guppy, and it shows you the um, the items that you collected, like cool stuff. It says you can click on them, but you can't. Um, goodbye, cruel world, Isaac. So there you go. There you have it. A nice, just sort of, in look into um, the uh, Binding of Isaac. Um, as I said, it's a really good game. At the moment, you can get it as part of the Humble Bundle, um, which also comes with Blocks That Matter and another game that I can't remember the name of. It's like Voxatron or something. All really good games, all made by indie developers. Um, it's one of the Humble Bundle allows you to um, name your price. Um, Part of it goes to charity as well, so I'll put a link to the Humble Bundle in the um, the box below so that you guys can go check it out. This is a really good game, um, as are Blocks That Matter and um, the Voxtron game. Uh, Blocks That Matter is like Minecraft meets Tetris and is really, really good. Um, and the other game, Voxtron, is also... Saying Voxtron and thinking as Voxtron, I can't quite remember. But it's also a really good game. So go check out the Humble Bundle. It's really awesome. Um, and thanks for watching. See you guys later.